Do these last four boxes pay for the entire haul? Thousands, millions, even billions of packages get lost or unclaimed every single year. What exactly does that mean? I don't actually know. But everyone keeps on buying these awesome pallet treasure troves. What exactly is a trove? Trove. And they're buying thousands of dollars of products for pennies. But I never see any pallets with this cool motorcycle stuff in it. Until a few weeks ago, when I not only bought one pallet, but I bought two pallets filled to the brim full of random motorcycle return stuff. And the auction claim that had a value of $60,000 thousand dollars which i only paid six thousand dollars for it so this is basically like christmas except for i had to pay for it actually it's exactly like christmas at home <laughs> so let's go to the east coast banana bring these pallets in and um see what we got Well, the team works on uh, putting the table back together. I'm pretty excited about opening up this stuff. I have to have a hard time believing this is actually sixty thousand dollars for the motorcycle part. And for good reason, because I made a mistake. They actually only claimed that this product was worth forty thousand dollars, and I didn't actually pay six thousand dollars for it. I paid. $9,000 for it. I feel like I just lost $23,000. This is not starting off very well for me. Craig, what, think, what kind of cool stuff do you think is in here? Do you think there's any real like full motorcycles? Do you think we could put together a, a working motorcycle? Like, you pull off all these boxes and stuff. The Harley games and street lights somewhere <laughs> in there. Box over. Alright, so here's the plan. I'm gonna tear into these boxes one by one, grab one off of here, one off of here, while Craig starts adding up the value of these things. I think this one, I actually won the auction at like 3,500 bucks, but then when I got the total bill, it was like 4,700 bucks. It was like $1,700 in fees. It was incredibly high fees. And then this one was whatever the difference was. So while I'm opening up these boxes, the smallest goal is to get at least what we paid for them, hopefully around 6,000 bucks. The highest goal is maybe to get. Forty, forty thousand dollars worth of value. Absolutely. That sounds impossible, though. Uh, let's jump in. Let's see. Uh, this one's light. I, I actually don't know what the deal with these boxes are. I, th I think it's either it's unclaimed, which I don't really know what unclaimed freight really means. Are they is it dropping off at people's houses and it doesn't they just don't want it, or it was maybe the truck tipped over, or are these returns and that there's something wrong with them? So I looked it up and I found out what unclaimed freight actually is. At some point in time, the receiver, whether that be the retail store or the consumer, either didn't get the right package or the package was damaged and then they sent it back. Now, not all, if not most of unclaimed freight is not damaged. And it's mostly because of miscommunication between the two parties that were involved. But sometimes people try to scam the system which we might actually see some of that in some of these boxes. Yeah, it's gonna be hilarious if we open up the boxes and like every single thing is broken. <laughs> yeah, right. We bought two skins of broken that could, stuff. That could happen though. Or they're empty. It's bubble. This is a sweet looking. That is some type of seat. Oh, hey, there's a label here on the side. Uh, Ducati lowered seat monster A21 for a 1200S. $267.60. I'm coming to help. I need your help. All right, fine. I'll sit here and pop bubbles. Jacket. Pantalones. Jacket. All right. Nice. So this is a first gear jacket. This has a retail price of $419.95. Whoa, first gear Kilimanjaro jacket. This thing is dope. Look, okay, it's got a hood. It's got a hood on it. Nice, and does that tuck in? The hood will... Yes. Yeah, yeah, it tucks into its own That's little hood That's so cool. Pouch. Hold on, what size? Is it Please be size? a double X. Please be a double X. LGT. Be cute. Large tall. Hey! Winner! That could be me. This is a spitty, spotty ladies jacket. It's an armored hoodie. That's pretty cool. This is uh, valued at, that can't be right. This is valued at nine. Whoa! 99,999 and 99 cents. Well, no wonder they returned it. Craig is so smart looking at the types on his little tiny computer. It reminds me of like Mr. Incredible. $160.50. Bam, market. And this is a, either the pants or a full race suit. Okay, these are just the pants. 
These are the RR Pro 2s. A nice looking set of leathers right there. $499.90. $500 pants, that is cool. We have another seat. This one's for a, also a Ducati seat. Ooh, that feels nice. That's a nice seat. Check this out. Got me a set of tires. Ooh, a little box inside the tires. What do you think it is, Craig? Oh man, that's gonna be helmet comms. Uh, a little bit of hardware. Oh, some type of uh... Oh, pegs? They're adjustable height pegs. SW Motec mounting kit for Evo. What do they go for, Craig? Looking. $91.95. seems cheap. I would've paid more, Motec. Once again, my knife is so dull. Can we not get a nice sponsorship up in here? Oh, shoot, is this the whole box? Look at this big boy. Looks expensive. Should I just get you a plastic fork? It's a Ducati Multistrada 1260 seat. Oh, this is a box with boxes inside of it. Oh, those are the favorite kind of boxes. All right, speed round. So this box was entirely filled with all little Ducati things. And if you know anything about Ducati things, it's that they are very, very expensive and a little arrogant. And they won't let you test drive their bike because they think they're better than you. This box included carbon fiber fenders, clutches, brake levers, frame plugs, and a racing gas cap and the entire box was worth a whopping. Random guess. How many, how many dollars were the retail? 6,000. $9,234. What? This box, plus the couple others we opened, put us in the black, $2,175.33. Wow. wow. That's more than I paid for my wife's Suburban. All right, so this is a pretty big deal. So according to the MSRP prices that they've given to us, we've not only broken even, we're in the black, which means from only opening up a few boxes, we have a higher cost than the entire pallet cost us, which makes me think that maybe their $40,000 evaluation was an understatement. And this thing could be worth 60, maybe $80,000. Let's find out. Look at these. And we'll go, we got some apes. But it's a little confused. This, 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 this is called a miscellaneous battery. They couldn't figure out what this is, so they called it a battery. Makes perfect sense. Miscellaneous Buffalo Ape Handlebars. Buffalo. And then I found another box with a lot of mislabeled stuff. And nothing in here was too exciting except for this bag and this cool pair of jeans. Ooh, Alpine Star jeans. Ooh, check it out, Dan. Crotch comfort. Size 28. Who wears size 28? No one. No self-respecting man wears a size 28. Very small size. Next up is some random tires. That one was good, but the other one was too old, so I decided to throw it at the side-by-side. -side. Then we got a cool Harley rim and a sissy bar. And then we got the world's largest helmet ever. 5XL. Have you ever heard of a 5XL? I can tell you it's not the guy that's fitting into the size 28 jeans. We continued to open box after box, being surprised every single time when what was inside was a helmet, even though the box was clearly a helmet box. Until we got to this box that looked like someone put all the most boring motorcycle parts in the whole world and packaged them all together just for me to be disappointed. All right, I got a confession to make. You guys don't know this, but it's actually not the same day. It's actually two years later. We all have to go get our same exact haircuts and wear the same clothes that we did. Actually, I've been wearing the same clothes the entire time. Craig went to did a little sit in jail for a couple for a couple months. Now he's back, and nothing's changed in the shop. So, but listen, I, I didn't tell you guys about this. When you do some research on these, right? This is what people tell you. When they're stacking up these pallets, they always put. I, I don't know if this is true or not. They put the best box in the bottom. They, they want to try to hide it in the bottom, in the middle. I don't know. If People can't just grab it or rip it off the top or something like that. I'm calling it the ultimate box. Now, somewhere on both of these pallets should be some really awesome item. I can't wait to see what that is. But we have a lot of helmets. These look like helmets. We have a lot of helmets. And anytime you're doing something with a couple of guys, you're going to make a competition out of it. So, Craig, yes. you grab some helmets. I'll grab a helmet. Grab one randomly. Let's see who can win the most highest valued helmet. Go. Ooh, I got, got an, an icon. icon. You got an icon? Yeah. Ooh, I got this icon. Oh, right. Oh, that is cool looking. This is like a, this looks like a, um, the game. Halo. Halo helmet. Man, no bag again. God, that one looks rough. Dude, this one was like, yo, I bet you what they did is they got, they got a new helmet and then returned their old one. What a scam, dude. That thing, that's no value. Smell it. No, I ain't smell it. I can feel it. It's all sticky and gross. I'm gonna smell it. Smell it. 
It smells like a man. Yeah. So this is what I believe to be the dark side of unclaimed freight. And what I think is happening here is people are buying helmets and then sticking their old helmet back in the new box and then taping them back up, sending them back to the manufacturer and saying, I don't like this helmet or this one was bad or damaged or whatever. And then they get a full refund. And by the time the company knows it, they already paid the guy back and they're ripping off the companies. But jokes on them because we found a hair inside those helmets. And we are currently running a DNA database scan and we're gonna find you and then smell you back your stinky helmet. That's no value. Yeah, I'm gonna go with, this is another win for me. This is a cool Ooh. looking helmet. I gotta pick better. Speed round. No bag again. <laughs> this, I got a second one. Got a bag this time. Oh, somebody, somebody crashed it. This one is trash. Covered in dust. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, this is sweet. Ah, oh, it's missing all the plat on the inside. I'm the Halo helmet again. This one's missing pads. Ooh, that's that's cool. It's got like a brushed titanium look. Count it. Oh, that's a cool belt. Tell me that's not a used, an extremely used helmet. That's weird. This is the piece that flaps in the wind. Right. Yeah. Oh, I got a bell that, one. That's a cool helmet. <gasps> Oh, you got a Simpson helmet. More than Twin. Yeah. I forgot that if I Oh, that's pretty cool looking. All right, all right. Oh, this is a... Uh, oh, like a modular, modular helmet. You say this is another icon. Oh. Missing pieces. HEV, I like HEV. I think these are helmets, aren't they? Whoa. They're like half helmets. After unboxing a total of 37 helmets, we totaled up the MSRP for all of them, and it came out to 8000 $554. However, at least 30% of these were damaged or missing something, and at least five of them appeared to have been worn nonstop for three years without ever being removed, and the owner was clearly a CrossFitter. Agreed. All right, so we're gonna blast through some of this stuff real quick. DID Harley Davidson chain, no, no. DID 530 chain, Omega sealed O-ring chain, 420 chain, a small off-road 420 chain for a dirt bike. Probably Davidson rotors, highway pegs for uh, one and a quarter highway bars. Those are going on my police bike. Drag bars. Those are going on your police bike. What is this? New stator for some unknown motorcycle. Oh, here we go. Harley Davidson big twin starter. Bam. Ooh, is that a Douglas? What is it for? A quad. That yeah, a little cool. quad. A quad wheel. Drag specialties, LED light. Then we got this. Very mysterious box. Craig, what do you think it is? I think it's a full FMF exhaust system. Really? No. But I can hope. Ah, it's like a grab bag. Grindhouse, Fast House Grindhouse, Youth Pants Navy, Radiator Shroud, UFO, Little Cable Clutch, oh, Women's Gloves, really? and then a bunch of other cables, ball joints, rectifier for Suzuki, brake shoes, and alternator remover removal tool. Craig, what's the verdict? All right, that box was worth $1,104.55. Not bad for a dumb little box. What is this? It's another Ducati seat. Do we buy a whole pallet of Ducati stuff? Do you think we can put together a Ducati off it's the pile? It's gonna have a lot of seats. It is gonna have a lot of seats. You can take all your friends. Another Ducati seat. I'm gonna go with a Ducati seat. Another Ducati seat. Oh, 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 my box has multiple things. What's your Oh, Ducati nice. Seat? Mine's a Ducati seat. This is a Ducati bag. Ducati performance tank bag. This goes on your bike. This connects to it. All right, we got oh, four my. of these things. It sounds like you get two and I get two. They're so light. They're really light. Any guesses? Yes, this is a pump. Windscreen. Oh, does that not say pump? That says thump? It says thump. So, stop. Oh, I see. got a... We got another tank bag. Windshield seat combo. Oh my golly. So much good stuff. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. What you got? Kind of golly windscreen. I got a little something better than that. I just so happened to have gotten Apocryphal Profits. Ducati Apocryphal. Acropovic. What? Exhaust. No way. Yep. It's very small. I thought it'd be more of an, <laughs> more yeah. of an exhaust. Yeah. Ooh, Ducati oh. can scrambler crash bar setup. Ooh. Oh my. Ooh, green bag. A 
Chewy visor, mirror for an ATV, throttle, universal exhaust, power sports helmet communication system. So most of the boxes have been sorted out. There's still a few boxes in the bottom of the pallet. But we have almost $17,000 worth of stuff that we got to get to, and I'm, not, I'm really not seeing it. So I'm starting to wonder whether their $40,000 estimation was a complete overestimate. Cable, number, number plate, plate, something. A ride cheek pads. Stainless steel, uh, braided brake lines. Reinforced pants? What is that? Oh, these are uh, swing arm guards. Oh, cool. Check it out. Clutch. Rebuild clutch kit for an R6. This is a Chewy helmet hoodie. XXL. Besides the use an XXL. No one. It's right away. Men's bib. Now that we just purchased a bunch of really cool stuff, I'm reminded of one of my favorite Bible verses, Matthew 6, 19 through 21. Do not store for yourself treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy, and thieves break in and steal. But store up treasures for yourself in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in to steal. What I'm going to consider the ultimate box in that palette. I think we're both thinking that these are boots. That's what I'm thinking. Motocross boots, what size are they? Nice. They're nice boots. How much are these boots? How much are these boots? Dude, I think my last pair of CDs cost 550 bucks. All right, what size do you wear? 13. I wear 10 and a half. Ben, what size 11. Is 11. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I got some 11s. $400. $400 boot. Wow. All right, so here is the ultimate boxes in the, what I think now we can conclude with all Ducati parts. I'm assuming these are all the same thing. We're not supposed to use a blade to open, what are we supposed to use open? Pickle, teeth, hot dog. Yeah. I need you seeing this, Greg? Not, I didn't get there yet. This looks like a very... What? This is a whole like mod kit, exhaust, intake, map key. This is like a stage one Ducati. This is a, yeah, stage one Ducati kit. Look at that, new. All these little individual parts for the new exhaust. Look at this, they give you a new air box. The exhaust can. And then stuff, but they put uh, vents in it to pull more air. These all the same? I'm gonna guess these are between 1500 bucks and 2200 bucks a piece, and these are brand new, never opened. Except for those two, we just opened those. $1,662.41. But you know what? I think that's just for the exhaust. Oh, here we go, Craig. So Craig's right. He only priced out one of the pieces. The, the, the number I just gave is the full kit. Did these last four boxes pay for the entire haul? So when I originally bought these pallets, this one said it was worth $40,000, like $39,000. And this one said it was worth like nineteen dollars or $20,000. Uh, when we added it all up at the end, that one was, that one was worth eighteen. dollars That one was worth uh, $20,270. $20, so I don't know how the, the numbers got off by $20,000 but somehow they did. Now surprisingly, the most expensive thing out of the, out of the Ducati box was these uh, exhaust systems. One was 1500 bucks, one was 1400 bucks. But what was really surprising was the most expensive thing out of that box was this. A V-twin Harley Davidson starter. I, th I thought it'd be worth like 150 bucks. So the total number is $39,227.38, but the problem is we had a lot of damaged stuff in there. So that's actually not the real number. Also, how much of this stuff is really sellable? We're gonna find that out next time.